So I recently scored myself a couple of new old stock reels of BASF quarter inch tape. I grew up on BASF tape as a kid. My granddad had a reel to reel player. So um, I have a soft spot for this stuff. So I've got a couple of reel to reel players. Um, I specifically got five inch reels for my old early 60s Grundig. Um, I think it was a TK23 from memory. Little mono valve jobby. So, um, yeah, this stuff is from the 70s, so let's pretend it's the 70s. We're going to be doing an unboxing, or an unwrapping in this case. Considering one of my hands is preoccupied with a phone, it's going to be done in various stages, because I just don't want to rip this stuff apart. So, um, this is LP35, um, long play tape, so you got, I don't know, 900 feet to a 5-inch reel, which approximately gives you, what is it, 45 minutes per side um, at 3 and 3 quarter inches per second, which is what my Grundig runs at. I generally leave 7 inch reels um, for my larger TAC um, and you know use those for stereo recordings at 7.5 inches because my Grundig can't take them, so this is slightly lo-fi. Now this is um, LH Hi-Fi, which I believe was released in the early 70s, slightly higher grade tape, meant to sound better at 3 and 3 quarters, but that doesn't really bother me considering the Grundig's, I don't know, it's mono, it's going to be mono, so we're going to have like say 4 tracks of 45 minutes, giving us about 3 hours per tape, so rather than twirl it around, I'm going to give you a good look at the front and the back. This is a plastic box. Nice stuff. Now I'm just going to desecrate it. Desecrate it? Yes, desecrate it by gently unwrapping it. I'll be back. Okay, the wrapper is off and I managed to do it without ripping it, which leaves us with a nice little plastic box, which the tape is in. Now, seen these before, I bought some used stuff off of eBay, so I can open it with one hand. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a little paper that usually sits on the top. It's not a terribly evenly wound tape for something unused. It looks like it has been stored rather well, considering there's no mould on it. <laughs> there we are, there's the little seal still on it. Now, one good thing, let me see. Oh yeah, yeah, it's got a slightly deeper sort of greenish aqua leader tape. Like the older LP35, the non-LH variety sort of more of this. Oh, that's interesting. This thing just zoomed on me automatically. Um, yeah, more of that sort of olive green colour. But this is sort of more of an aqua green. So that's one way you can tell the difference between the um, LP35 and the LP35 LH. Nice. Yep, definitely smells like tape. Now to figure out what I want to put on this. I was going to end the video there, but I'm not sure if you can see it all that well in this light. There's some writing on the leader itself that says LP35LH. That's pretty neat. So, um, that's one good thing about the BASF tape. If you buy this stuff secondhand <clears throat> and you don't know what tape it is, generally it's stamped there on the leader. Good stuff.